Hello and welcome back to Maths Plus. Today we have an exponential problem. 4 to the power of cos of squared a minus 4 to the cos of 2a is equal to 3 over 4. So maybe give it a try and pause the video, but let me know how you get on. So if you're new to the video, don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate that. Thank you. So let's get started. Consider the exponents. We would preferably require the same exponents on either side. So we could write cos squared a as the exponent. And over here, we can use the identity of cos of 2a is equal to cos squared a minus sine squared a. Let's remove the sign. So we can go with cos squared a as the power with 4 and we can convert the cos squared a minus sine squared a as cos squared a minus 1 minus cos squared a. Okay, so that's greatly simplified. Now, separate out the values below. So we can write 4 and 4 to the power of 2 is 16 and we can put the 4 with the cos squared a then for the second part. We can write 1 over 4 cos squared a is equal to 3 over 4. Okay so let's look at this carefully. So we have 4 over 16 now and we have 1 over cos squared to the power of cos squared. Now what we're going to do is we're going to introduce t is equal to 4 to the power of cos squared a. Now this will become t minus 4 over 16 by 1 over t is equal to 3 over 4. And this will simplify as 1 minus 1 over 4t is equal to 3 over 4. Now let's keep working on this and we can multiply across by 4t. And we get 4t squared minus 1 is equal to 3t. Bring it all together now and we'll get 4t squared minus 3t minus 1 is equal to 0. Now we can factor out the quadratic into two factors of 4t plus 1 multiplied by t minus 1 is equal to 0. So we're going to take two cases here. We'll take this case firstly, t minus 1, and then we'll take 4t plus 1. So for case 1, we bring across the 1 and we will get t is equal to plus 1. Then we can replace the 1 as 4 to the power of 0 with the log rule. Now with that we can say that cos squared a is equal to 0, therefore cos of a is equal to 0. Get the inverse cos of both sides and we can get two options in the trigonometric range as pi over 2 and 3 pi over 2 are 90 degrees and 270 degrees. Now I've written down case 2 and we can see that the second factor, 4t plus 1, is equal to 0. Bring the 1 across, change the sign, divide across by 4, and we will get t is equal to minus 1 over 4. Set that back to the, the substituted value. So we have 4 to the power of cos squared a is equal to minus 1 over 4. But as we're getting a negative value, remember, this is not possible for real numbers. We cannot get a negative value for the for a a base with an exponent so there's no real solution possible for this case therefore our final solution is a is equal to pi over 2 or 3 pi over 2 so i hope you enjoyed this video thanks a lot for watching and see you again soon on the next video